With the configuration from the last step on boot, your Raspberry Pi should automatically try to connect to the Wi-Fi network you've provided. So what you can do now is first make sure that your Raspberry Pi is powered off. Okay, this is very important. Now you can put the SD card in the SD card slot of the Pi. Okay, make sure it is correctly uh, inside the slot like you can see here on the screen. And then and only then you can power on your Raspberry Pi. So what you should see is first, you will have the red LED, which should be powered on. And then you should also see just next to it, the green LED blinking quite randomly. And if it's blinking randomly, it means simply that the Raspberry Pi is booting. And so you can wait a little bit and after a few seconds, maybe one minute top, the Raspberry Pi should be connected to your Wi-Fi network. And now that is where we need to actually find the IP address of this Raspberry Pi on the network so we can get access to it. So to find the IP address, we are going to use a tool. Okay, this is another software you can download. Here I'm using the Angry IP Scanner. Okay, so this tool is quite good to find all the IP addresses and hosts inside a network. So I've chosen this one because simply it's uh, available for Windows, Mac or Linux. So uh, anyone can use it with this course. You may have already used some specific software. For example, for Windows, you have Advanced IP Scanner, which is as good as Angry IP Scanner, even better. So if you already know other uh, IP scanner softwares for your operating system, feel free to use them. And if you are going to use Angry IP Scanner as I'm doing here, you can simply here, uh, well, you can click on that and download and install the software just like you would install any software. And you will also have to install Java here because uh, the software uses Java. So you can click on here and just download and install the latest version here. Okay, so you have to install Java plus uh, this software. And if you are using Mac OS, you have the instructions here and Linux, you have the instructions here. And now that the software is installed, well, you simply have to start it. And uh, you may have another pop-up asking you to accept some stuff uh, related to the network. And so you have to press yes. Okay, so otherwise it will not work. So you have this uh, software started and before we even do anything, please go back to check your Wi-Fi network here and make sure that your laptop, so this laptop over there is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the Raspberry Pi. So as the configuration you have set up uh, inside the SD card of the Raspberry Pi, okay? If it's not in the same network, you will never be able to uh, find the Raspberry Pi from this computer. So this is actually the very important first step you need to check here. So once this is done, well, go back to Angry IP Scanner. And before we press start, we have a little bit of configuration here. So as you can see, we have the hostname. The hostname is the actually the hostname of this machine here. So that is my hostname. It would be different for you. And you are going to click on that IP button with an arrow here. So you click on that and you will see different stuff here. So you may have uh, just one or two or more like, like me. And you're going to select the one with uh, Wi-Fi here. So this is actually uh, this is the IP address of that computer in the Wi-Fi network. I have a few other ones here, for example, with uh, virtual machines. But uh, if I chose them, uh, I would not be able to connect to the Raspberry Pi because it's not the same network. So I have to choose the Wi-Fi IP address. And as you can see, this will automatically update the IP range here. Okay, and what you're going to do is actually, so you have four different numbers for an IP address. You're going to change the last one here for the beginning of the range to uh, let's say one and the last one here to 255. So when you will scan, this will scan between one and 255 in that uh, network here. 
and your Raspberry Pi is somewhere between uh, those two numbers. So when you scan, you will see the IP address, uh, the host name, and the port. But one thing actually you can do is also click on that. Okay. And we are going to add the Mac vendor here. I will show you why later. So you click on Mac vendor, you put uh, add here. So it should be on the left and you click on OK. So it should be here. That colon should be here. And now just press start. Okay, and once this is done, you will have uh, that kind of uh, window message. So uh, for me, it took 30 seconds. It can take more or less time. Uh, so you can click on close and you have, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. until 2.55. So what you can do is simply uh, maybe click on ping and sort by ping. So you have all of the different uh, IP address, which are actually corresponding to real uh, machines, okay? So when it's blue, there is something. When it's red, it means that nothing has been detected for this IP address. So we can see that actually that is the first one here. This is the laptop I'm using here. And I can see here the IP address finishing with 56 for me. So it of course, this can be completely different for you. It can be a completely different number here. I can see a Mac vendor here, Raspberry Pi trading. So it means I have found my Raspberry Pi on the network. Okay, and the reason I have asked you to add the Mac vendor here is because, well, for some reason, uh, it depends. Sometimes you may not be able to see the host name, which would be Raspberry Pi. So if you use, for example, the advanced IP scanner software on Windows, you will see the host name, but not with angry IP scanner. I mean, at least not for my uh, specific situation. So here you can clearly see that uh, this is the Raspberry Pi you're looking for. If you don't have any information here, you can still guess by looking at the blue dots here because you will only have a few. Okay. so. This is my computer. The first one will not be Raspberry Pi. It will not finish with a one. So here, even if I didn't have that, I could guess that this would be the Raspberry Pi IP address. So once you have that, write down the IP address and we are going to use that just in the next lesson.